Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Today, we're going to help out at the school store. We need to count up the objects that are for sale. And there are a lot of things here. Hope you're ready. But first, maybe it's a good idea to review how to count using a hundreds chart. A hundreds chart has the numbers from 1 to 100. These are the rows on the hundreds chart. Each row has 10 numbers. Uh-oh! This hundreds chart is missing a few numbers. Let's have a closer look to figure out what's missing. Anyone have a magnifying glass? One strategy we can use is counting forward by ones. If we start counting from the number 1, it might take a long time to reach this missing number all the way over here. So instead, we can just start counting from a number that is in the same row. Did you notice that the numbers in this row begin with a 5? That's because this is the 50s row. It begins with the number 51. Now let's count by 1s until we reach the missing number. 51, 52, 53, 54. Four. Aha! Uh -huh. The missing number is 54. So we write a 5 and a 4. After 54 comes 55, 56, 57, and so on. And let's look at the next missing number. This is the 70s row. So the number begins with a 7. The missing one is almost at the end of the row, so let's start counting from here. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. The missing number is 78. So we write a 7 in the tens place and an 8 in the ones place. Another strategy we can use is to look at the numbers above and below. These are the columns on the hundreds chart. In this column, all the numbers end with the number 1. And in this column, all the numbers end with the number 2. And so on and so on. So if we zoom into this missing number, we can see that the numbers above and below it both end in the number 6. The other numbers in its row begin with 80. And so that means that the missing number is 86. So we write an 8 and a 6. Nice work finding those missing numbers. A hundreds chart can also help us skip count by tens by looking at the numbers at the end of each row. Each number is just one more group of tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Hey, by the way, what number comes next? Do we have to stop at 100? What number comes after 100? It's 101, 102, 103, and so on, counting just like before, but with 100 at the beginning of the number. We can even add a few more rows to the hundreds chart to make it go up to 120. Nice review! Now we're ready to help out at the school store. We have a list here with the names of the school supplies and a place to write the number of how many there are for sale. Now looking at this table, can you tell me how many pencil sharpeners are there in this box? Well, there are 10 in each row except for the last row which has only three. Okay, so let's count by tens first. We'll go 10, 20, 30, 40. So let's write the number 40, and count on the last three pencil sharpeners. 41, 42, 43. There are 43 pencil sharpeners. So we write a 4 and then a 3. Write the number 43 on the list next to where it says pencil sharpeners. Oh, a box of notebooks. The box says 28 on it. Hmm. Are there really 28 notebooks inside? It looks like a lot more. Let's count them to check. Now they're in rows of 10, except for the last row. 10, 20, 30, 
40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Let's write the number 80 and count on the last notebooks. 81, 82. Huh. There are 82 notebooks. Aha, uh -huh, there was a mistake on the box. Instead of writing an eight and then a two, somebody wrote a two and then an eight. They wrote 28 instead of 82. So good thing we caught the mistake though. It's really important to write the numbers from left to right as you say them. Now we're gonna write the number 82 on the list next to where it says notebooks. Nice work. And next up are the paper clips. Looks like there could be more than 100. Let's count them up. Now there are already 60 paper clips in this box, so we don't need to count those. We can just start from 60 and count by tens. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. Let's write the number 110 and count on the last paper clips. 111, 112, 113, 114. There are 114 paper clips. So we write a one, a one, and a four from left to right. And we're gonna write that number 114 on the list next to where it says paper clips. You're doing such a great job. And there's only one more item to count. Oh, too bad. Oh, but they're glue sticks, awesome. Now, this box already has a number on it. It says 75, but there are a few glue sticks outside of the box. Well, let's count by ones starting from 75. 76, 77, 78, 79, uh-oh. What comes after 79? Well, if you're not sure, you can use a hundreds chart to check. Ah, here's 79, and the number after that, oh, that's right, 80. But we still need to count three more, so let's jump to the next row and keep on going. 81, 82, 83. There are 83 glue sticks in all. We're gonna write the number 83 on the list next to where it says glue sticks. And we're done. You did really well counting up the supplies in the school store. Okay, let's recap. We learned how to count objects by tens and ones. If you have a big group of objects, you can start by counting tens. A hundreds chart is a great tool to help us with this. Then, once there are just a few left, count them by ones. Write the number from left to right. And we also learned how to find the missing number on a hundreds chart by counting from a number that is nearby or looking at the numbers above and below it. And now the school store is ready to start selling its school supplies. Great work today, Mighty Owls.